Hi everybody, Joe Patty here, and Happy New Year. Let's say hi to my little winter mouse that I painted under my kitchen cabinet. Hello there. <laughs> oh, I had a piece of cheese there. It looks like the dog got it. Anyway, it was just for fun. So you guys, I decided to do something for the new year. I did a purge. Yep, that's right. You heard me. A purge. Got rid of all that old crap. No, those old paintings that I don't want anymore, that I don't care about, that I know that I'll never look at, use, sell, and a lot of them were just experiments, and you know what, I feel a lot better, so you, maybe you guys ought to do it too, get in there and get rid of some old stuff that you know darn well you're not going to like or use. On that note, welcome to the art table, and tonight I'm going to figure out what I want to paint for the new year. I want to do something fun and something colorful, so I got out all my favorites, and I want to cipher through them and figure out which ones I'm going to choose. Okay, you guys, I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine and pick out the colors and the paints I want to use tonight. And I'll get right back to ya. Go purge, everybody. Hey, here's my decision. <laughs> um, I have so many different colors and things that I absolutely love. And I just want to ring in the new year with something simple and have some fun with some colors. So what I've decided to do, I can't narrow it down, I've decided to do two different paintings and one's going to be colorful with the colors that you see up here on board and uh, we'll talk about that mix in a minute and the other one is just going to be really simple with three different colors because what's New Year's without some champagne? <laughs> this is a color that I got. It uh, Actually, I got these at Home Depot and Menard. So this is a champagne color. It's a metallic. And this is also metallic here. This is a, uh, it's called, um, if I can get that in focus, a black garnet. And it, you guys, it's really pretty. Once I start mixing it up, it is just a gorgeous color, like a chocolate-covered raisin or whatever. I don't know. So I'm going to do those colors and do something more simple. And then I got some champagne glitter. So let's get started and let's just do one and have some fun. But I do want to tell you guys, I have so much I want to teach you guys and talk to you guys about. Um, in the upcoming videos for January, I got to talk about this Amazon stuff that I know some of you guys are waiting to hear about because there's six different ways to make money on Amazon. I'll be getting to that. I want to help you guys out. Plus Redbubble. I want to do a review on Redbubble. I haven't done it yet because I was waiting for some other stuff to come in the mail. I had a couple pillows that I had made with my artwork that kind of got lost in the Christmas mix. So I had to call them and it's not Redbubble's fault. So Anyway, I want to talk about that, and there's just so much fun stuff I want to talk about with paints and show you guys some really cool stuff, and I'm excited to do so. Okay, on that note, let me get this stuff off this board, and let's get ready to pour, y'all. All right, everyone, here's the mix. I have a unbleached titanium that I'm going to be using as the background for a little of the... Oops, hang on a second. Hang on, everybody. Uh, the unbleached titanium is uh, going to be put in the background for the negative space. And I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do negative space or not, but I decided yes. I went ahead, though, before um, I start this painting, I wanted to tell you guys, I went ahead and covered this canvas with a little bit of um, titanium, un unbleached titanium mixed with the buff titanium and a little bit of white. And I had some little bit of chocolate sprinkles in there. And I just put it on the canvas. So it's kind of like a two-tone. It's like a white and a cream. I didn't want a complete white background. And I didn't want a dark background. So I just decided to mix it a little bit like that. Just to give it some texture of like a, and some the look of like a real canvas that's unbleached or ungessoed. Okay, the next color I have to have some black. Mars black in the mix. Mars black is your blackest black. And I use a lot of the Mars Black when I do any type of uh, outer space type paintings and stuff for the stars and things. The other colors in here is this Black Garnet that I was talking about and this Champagne color. And that Black Garnet sure is pretty. Okay, and then the last color I have is a Deep Violet that I actually mixed with a couple drops of my Deep Violet ink. And for the silicone, I do have my treadmill, uh, treadmill belt lubricant, and I put one drop in the 
violet. So one drop is in the violet and no other colors. All right, everybody, let's get started. It's really neat you guys this is really pretty it looks a lot prettier down here where I'm at versus you know on the camera and I actually like that I added that white at the last minute because it just makes that really pretty grapey violet color pop speaking of violet I wanted to tell you guys that's the new color for uh, the color of the year for 2018 is ultraviolet so it's going to be all your like black light poster type colors mainly the bluish purple and then, uh, so you'll see a lot of black light colors this year. They'll be popping off all over. I can hear my cat snoring in the corner over there. <laughs> very, very strange. All right. I'm really liking this, you guys. This is the only spot right here that there's no white on the very edge. And right here. That's okay. I don't mind that. I like that. It's really, really pretty. I'm kind of anxious to see how it looks like dry. All right, you guys, I'll bring it up to you a little bit to get a little couple of close up shot. And then uh, I'll get it when it's dry. Let's see. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna start on the other one. Okay, everybody, looky, looky. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much damn fun, it ain't funny. <laughs> I'm going to use all of these colors in my New Year's pour. I'm just going to have so much fun with this. And let me tell you about these colors. And then I'm going to turn the camera off and stir them up really good. And then when I turn the camera back on, we'll talk about which ones I'm going to put the silicone in. But right now, they're just paints mixed up the regular way that I always mix them. Okay, so here's my colors. Here's the mix. Right here, we got some primary elements. And this dark purple here, it's called iridescent violet. And that's this purple one. Then, right next to that, the more pinky red one is jasmine. And that's also primary elements. Got these back there. Okay, and then this blue here, it's a blue-green. And I have mixed that. That's two different colors. That is a... Let's see if I can find that here. Okay, that is... I have mixed that, this one here, with this... Um, the main color is a Key West, a Caribbean color. And then to add to it, to make it a little shiny, I got the color shift in there. This is the Gloss Finish Aqua Flash. And that's this one. George, be quiet now. <laughs> He's fighting with the dog. This one here is a metallic ice blue. And it's just mixed with my um, Amsterdam acrylic the turquoise this one here and that is mixed with some ice blue to give it a little bit of shine okay now in the green is a the green that i have in here was a shamrock green and that is just let me see if i can find it i don't want to waste a lot of time so it's a shamrock green, and it's actually just an apple barrel color. 
a little bit of shamrock green mixed with my Liquitex Vivid Lime Green and some sparkles, but I love this stuff here. It's called Emerald by Folk Art. This stuff here is awesome. I love that uh, emerald green. Matter of fact, I've been in the search of the perfect emerald green. I've been playing around the last couple of days trying to find a good emerald green. Although this is like my lime green. This isn't going to be emerald, but you can put a little emerald sparkle in there. Next, I have my blue. I have a royal blue here mixed with. It's a royal blue. Um, this is also some sparkle paint. It's folk art. Royal blue mixed with. The phalo blue green shade and the ultramarine blue. This is actually a green shade also. And I mixed that up to get a really good, strong, dark, deep, bright blue. Okay, the next is this little green color here. It's a blue green, but more green. And this is a primary elements, and this is called African Jade. That's really pretty, you guys. Those primary elements are pretty. I'm excited to use them. I'm going to be honest with everybody. I haven't used the primary elements before. I got these uh, ordered a kit in the mail. It's actually on my Amazon page down below the video. And then uh, I'm excited to use them. I'm excited to try all these colors and hope for the best. <laughs> now this here is a baby blue. A little baby blue. And that was a, uh, let's see where to go. Um... It was this a baby blue, and it was a folk art paint. I can't find it right now, but it's actually it was an apple barrel. It was an apple barrel paint, and it's a baby blue, and it's really pretty. And I mixed that with this primary element that's called uh, Guatemalan green. Even though it's a uh, blue, it comes out like that Guatemalan green. Or is this a Guatemalan green? Let me think. Yeah, actually, this has a Guatemalan green in it. Green in it. This one here. Sorry about that, guys. This has the Guatemala green. And this was just a baby blue. And that was mixed with the African jade. Okay, so I had it mixed up. This is a Guatemala green, green primary element. And this is the African jade. Okay. Now we got that straightened out. Now for the brown, I mixed in my... Uh, I had some uh, burnt umber that I mixed in there. And then I used a few drops of my transparent burnt umber, which is a liquid ink, on top of a couple splashes of this chocolate brown folk art metallic finish. So I gave it that nice little shine. And then this here is a mixture of a few things. So what I did was, this is a Van Dyke Red. It's kind of orangey, whatever, but it's really pretty. It's a Van Dyke red, and I mixed it with the cadmium yellow, and I also put a couple drops of the Van Dyke brown in there to kind of mix it up a little bit to get it uh, a little bit of a darker shade and not so reddish. Okay, and there's my transparent burnum. And this here, this last color here, I didn't want to put white in there. I wanted it kind of creamy. I don't want a bright white. It would have been pretty, but I wanted it kind of a cream colored. And this is just unbleached titanium right here, mixed with a little bit of white to give it that, you know, a creamy color. And I put a little white in there because I, I don't want it real yellowy. So I always put a little bit of uh, a gloss white in here so it's not so yellowy. Okay, now this is a color that I decided not to use. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm going to put these other paints away, stir these up really good, and then I will turn the camera back on and we'll go from there. All right, everybody, I'm just about ready here. Just trying to get some animals settled and stuff, but... <laughs> okay, what I want to do too some weekend, since I like to do fun weekend videos about personal stuff or my personal life, whatever, I thought about... Um, I used to run a food truck, and I really like to make uh, these Italian sandwiches. And I thought I'd show you guys how to make it, or my um, Wisconsin cheese curds with some beer cheese dip. It sounds really good. I don't know about you guys, but I get hungry after I pour. <laughs> okay. Ari's playing with the plastic bottle, so, but if I want to paint, I just have to keep going because I really don't have any quiet time. So here we go. <laughs> 
I've mixed these up, mixed them up again, shook them up a little. And uh, let me find that. Okay, so I used the treadmill belt lubricant and I put one drop in every color but my titanium buff. I didn't put anything in there. And I put two drops in my little uh, copper cinnamony Van Dyke red mix <laughs> and two drops in my bright lime green. And everything else has one drop, like I said, except for that. Okay, so let me get started here. And I'm going to do two cups because I'm pouring a, well, it's a 12 by 24 inch canvas. But I want to have an, a spare cup in case I need to do some touch-ups or something. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so here is the titanium buff. Actually, you know what? I think I'll put this over here that you just so you guys can see it. Let me get something here. Um, let's see. out nice I can save this other cup and uh, do another pour tomorrow <laughs> maybe with a black background or something all right all right everybody are we ready it sounds funny but I'm actually kind of nervous about this I'm not doing a negative pour so there's no negative background I'm just pouring and I'll use the torch pop bubbles and Maybe see if I can get a little bit of cell action. I don't know. There's a lot of um, uh, a lot of different paint in here, but I've got a lot of the mix of um, you know, like a, not fluorescent but opalescent type paints, and those don't usually sell that great. But okay, here we go. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Let's see. You know, it'd be cool if I poured it from up high and just splashed it on there. But I think I would muddle the colors more that way. All right, you know what? I don't have a negative space. So I'm just going to have to just start pouring like this. And I can see I'll probably have to use both cups. So I make sure I get it all in there. Ooh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty, pretty. All right, let's take a look at that while it just flows off the canvas. Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. Peacocky. <laughs> Got some bubbles here. Let's see if I got them bubbles pop, and I do. I still got some left in the cup over here. I don't have as much cream popping out as I like. Let's uh, start tilting this guy. Pretty stripey right there. Let's see. What I want to do now is pour a, do something like this. Uh, let me think. Pretty. Double over.
Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. I don't really want that chocolate in the middle now, but it's pretty. Very pretty, but not really liking it all that much. There we go. Get some of that bluish green in there. Those are the colors I wanted more of the peacocky. This is really, really pretty over here, you guys. Really, really pretty opalescent-y. This green area here. It's this part right here I don't like. I'm not, I don't know why, but I don't like so much of that stripey stuff going on. Maybe I'll try to just do something like that. some of that chocolate back in here. Maybe I'll just tilt it, tilt it and tip it all the way over. I like that better. I really like that now. Really like this, what's going on down through here. Matching colors through here. It's got kind of really cool wave to it instead of just so much stripes there. Tip it back just a little bit this way to the corners like that. I like it like that. More like that. It's kind of cool. This is really cool, you guys. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so unique looking. I love it. And I think I'm going to show the dried versions on the next video because I can't just uh, pop them all with the dry the dryer and all that stuff on here. I mean the drying ones on the same video because I'm getting to the point where I'm never going to get this video finished that I want to get it done for you guys. This is so cool. I'm just staring at it. It's so pretty and opalescent-y. Very pretty. All right, I'm going to come around look at that side there real quick like a bunny. Okay. Tap that in. Let's see here. Really like the peacock colors, you guys. It's really bright in the middle, and it's actually just bright enough in the middle for me to do some type of uh, something black on top, like um, black hearts, or do some type of embellishing right in through here. It would be really cool. All right, you guys, I'm going to let this sit. And let it dry. I'll touch up the ends or whatever when I come around the other side. Let this dry. And then uh, we'll get on it. And let's see what it looks like and how it turned out, everybody. Let's hope for the best. Because it sure is pretty now. But I've noticed that when I put a lot of colors on there, it uh, has a tendency to change. It doesn't change the look a whole lot. But, I mean, it changes colors, too, more than anything as it moves about the canvas. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Ciao, everybody.